Hey guys, my name is Ashley Pickering. I've been involved with Skills Canada in one way or another over the past three years, anywhere from competing to coaching in the last year. I am a Red Sea hairstylist currently working at Fogtown Barbershop, downtown St. John's. And for this video, we're just going to give you a quick quarantine fade hair tutorial. So I just started off with taking off the majority of the bulk of his hair. It's been a, it's been a minute since he had a haircut. Um, I also created my fade guideline. Uh, we did it a little bit higher up on his temples. He tends to prefer a higher, tighter fade. I'm um, just going in with my foiler here now to really get a nice smooth skin. It's a really quick and easy alternative to using a straight razor if you're at home. Next we're going to be going in with the Andy's Fade Master. So these are really easy clippers to use for fades where they have the notches on the side. So I just kind of follow the notches from highest to lowest. So we'll just kind of do that all around the head, uh, buffering out any harsh lines that you see. And then I'm going in with my trimmer to kind of blend out that skin to hair line that we've created. Shout out to uh, my cat Thor in the background. He always has to make an appearance in everything we do. Next we're going to be cutting the top of his hair. So with his hair where he has quite an intense widow's peak, I like to leave it a lot longer in the front. So I'll always kind of over direct it backwards, keeping a lot of that length there. So we'll just go on and cut the whole top there, try to blend the sides as much as we can with uh, my fingers. And then kind of go in with a scissor over comb technique to really kind of bring that in tight. A lot of barbers do tend to use the traditional clipper over comb, but I prefer this method just I, I find that I have a better control over what I'm cutting. So as I'm working, I'll constantly check my work. So you'll see me turning him a lot. I'm always just kind of looking at every different angle and different kind of lighting because that really makes a difference, especially when doing fades. It can look one way in darker lighting and then completely different when you're out in the light. Now we're going to cross check the top, making sure that everything's all even and perfect and always constantly checking my work, spinning them around, making them busy. And we're just going to kind of trim in and clean up his, uh, his beard area there a bit for him. I wasn't too worried about taking any length off where he's trying to grow out the bottom a little bit, but you really just want it to complement the, the face shape. Next we're just going to style, kind of messy and textured. And uh, there you go, quick and easy quarantine haircut.